Good so Lord. they brought up to the kitchen, they take everything week, out of the bag. One week they did something in the hospital. I had a week for the second week. The second week I had to stay in the lab for back for five days. With a bed pan. Couldn't get up. Get flat on your back. I told you. It's okay. I just didn't want to. Hi, everybody. Okay. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you for coming on this beautiful day. Um, I'd like to thank the commissioners. O'Malley and Notariani, who are here today, as long as our new, and I think we should give a big round of applause, because this woman has worked with us for years, and now she's in a different position, and she deserves it, and I'm so proud of her. Ms. Fran Pantuso, who's the new Chief of Staff. Best vote we ever did. <laughs> Love you, baby. And we have the Lackawanna County Commission for Women Board. Some of our gals are up here in front, so they work hard all year long. You can clap for them, sure. They're all good. I'd like to first and, first and foremost thank ECTV. Mark McGlory's in the house, the guy over there with the camera and the earphones, um, headphones, I guess, Mark whatever. He's here and he'll put this on TV for you so you'll see that. Scranton Times is here, this gentleman Jim with the uh, blue shirts walking around. We have John from WNEP because Stacy Lang, who cannot make it today, wanted to be here, cannot be, um, is uh, one of our honor, she's been honored by one of the essays and um, we also, we're, so we're delighted that everybody's here and available. We also have Joyce Fazula who is the uh, pr uh, president, correct Joyce, of uh, Garrity Supermarkets and Joyce was also one of the wonderful women in Lackawanna County that was um, chosen to be written about and a, a portrait of, and we're so happy about that. And one of our own, Miss Joanne Arduino, who is, as I said, one of our board members. She was also chosen by one of, is she your student, Joanne? and wrote about Joanne and the pictures are adorable. The kids are wonderful. And then we have the Munley family with us because Marion Munley, who is the grandmother of these three in the front and the mother of J federal judge Jim Munley and Lackawanna County Judge Julia Munley. So they're in the house here to represent their grandma who did wonderful things and we might as well give another plug to Bridget because since their grandma has been state rep, Bridget uh, Malloy, Kazaroski, I was going to mess that up, uh, is now the uh, first woman in, what, 57 years or so? 50-some, 50, 50, yeah, 52, 50, long time. So, yay women. And this is what we're all about, celebrating women as the Commission for Women and what we, these wonderful ladies do, and these young women who are just starting. We like to honor them every year. Every single year, uh, we send out a letter to every seventh grade teacher in the, in the county of Lackawanna, private, public, charter, any of the schools that are there, we send them um, to Catholic, everybody gets one, and then it's up to the teachers to try to encourage the kids to write an essay and pick a strong woman that has been lived in Lackawanna County, whether they're no longer with us or as alive and vibrant as we can be today, such as Miss Joanne up here, and Joyce, and Stacy Lang, as we said, and the Munleys. Um, we have another lady who was a silhouette artist that one of the young ladies wrote about, and another one by the name of Diane Boone, who has done wonderful things in our community. She was unable to join us today, but we have a lot going on, and we are thank you again to the parents, because it, it's not easy getting here and getting your kids out right after school and being here, so thank you, because I have to say, all of the parents were here on time and ready to go. So thank you for that. And then we have Miss Deborah Smith, who is a teacher at OLP. Are any of the other teachers in the room? Oh, are, are you, um, you're Mrs. Herbert, right? Hi, thank you. So we love it because when the teachers help us, we get to do all this, so thank you so much. I'm Laurie Cadden, I'm the uh, president of the Lackawanna County Commission for Women, and it's been my pleasure for the last three years to do this. So with no further ado, we're gonna start, and I'd like to introduce to you a lovely long, young lady. What we do is we usually do one, two, and three. When I took over, as the president, there was no way in you know what that I could pick just one of every. We get about 80 submissions and we are thrilled with that and to try to pick and some of the ladies can attest there it's very very difficult to try to do it. So I said what the heck we can do this we can do it a little bit more and we'll do two of each. So it just um, gives us a little more opportunity to honor these young ladies. So we're going to start with the third place. We have two third, two second and two first. So the first on the third place winner 
is a lovely young lady who I just met today. Her name is Lamaya McGowan. She is with, and I, I say this every year, and I can help it, and Commissioner O'Malley's not going to care I say it, West Scranton Intermediate. Now, I just want you to know, at the ripe age of 58, I was the first, <laughs> the first graduating class of West Scranton Intermediate. So I have a, a very, I, I just love that school, and I love the kids, and I love West Side. I can't help it. But I love everybody. So we'd like to call up this Miss um, McGowan. Come on up, honey, and you could read your story. I want to show you her picture, and then she's going to read to you. This is the lovely, the lovely drawing that Lamaya did for about Miss Diane Boone. So there you go, kiddo. Read it to everybody, and I'll be back. Okay. In 2006, Diane V. Boone was one of 50 women chosen by Governor Edward Rendell, a winner of the best 50 women in business. She stated these. I mean, he stated these women and many others are making outstanding contributions to the economic growth and vitality of Pennsylvania. Diane received awards and political citations in her efforts to help the growing economy. She is the organizer slash vice president of, wait, of the Greater Grant and Martin Luther King Jr. Commission, which has an impact on Lackawanna County by securing economic growth and equality in legislation in Scranton. She believes growth can come without violence helping our youth for a better tomorrow. This is your certificate. You want to come over here because you're going to get a photo with the commissioners? This is yours, honey. Commissioner, if you'd like to give her that. And here's your, let me put this on you, kiddo. Come on over. Put this. Do you feel like you're an Olympian? <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. You're welcome. Thanks, honey. Her gift, too. Oh, honey, one more thing. <laughs> Thanks, Bern. <laughs> and her name should be on. I Don't know, that. I know. Let's see. No. That'll be the next one. They're all in a row. I don't want to loud this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There you go, kiddo. Thank, Thank you. you. Does somebody want to look for each one while I. Yeah, Amy, maybe that's Amy, because you're Amy. the name. Okay. Next third place recipient winner is Emmy Vitaletti. Emmy is a student seventh grader at Our Lady of Peace School, and her teacher, Miss Eileen Herbert, as we introduced before, is in the house. Um, Pete, are you here? There is Mr. Yakavazi. He is uh, the t teacher of the several of the children from West Scranton Intermediate. Pete never fails every single year. He gets these kids to do it. And we are so thrilled that OLP, North Pocono, and several other schools, we wish we could hear from everybody. It just doesn't happen. So thank you to everybody for helping us with this. And Pete, thanks. So your girl was just up here. OK. Yeah, see? Emmy, Vitaletti, well, come on up. Lord. He's also a 1989 graduate of West Grant. Okay, here we go. That's right, brother. That's right. There you go, honey. <laughs> I want to show you what Emmy wrote about Beatrix Sherman, who is a silhouette artist. And this is what Emmy did as a nice, silhouette. Very nice. Okay, Emmy, feel free to read away, kid. Okay, there you go. Beatrix Sherman was an American 20th century silhouette artist. She was born in Scranton, PA on January 10, 1894. She went to Henderson College and she attended art classes at the Art Institute of Chicago. She was known for her silhouette portraits. As the amount of her work increased, she kept guest books that her sitters signed. She also began to number or make a notation on the back of each of her silhouettes. This created a personal archive of her silhouettes and guest signatures. She has cut many famous people's silhouettes and has quite the collection of work. 
She died when she was 80 years old on January 1st, 1975. here for me. Okay. Let me put your Olympic uh, gold medal on, bronze medal. Okay. Stand here with the commissioners. And then Amy, you have hers, right? <clears throat> Thank you. Okay, second place. We have Madeline Sherilla Magdalene, which I love that name. She wrote about our dear Stacy Lang. And this is her portrait, everybody. Didn't she do a wonderful job? Magdalene, come on up, kiddo. The woman I pick, Stacy Ling, is very important to Lackawanna County. She is important because she lets us know what's going on around us. Her job is a beat reporter who works for the WNEP news station. She joined the team in July 2011. She grew up in Clark Summit, which is part of Lackawanna County. Before she had started her career in journalism, she was on the field as Miss Comet with the Abington Heights Marching Band. She travels around to the location where the event is happening to report the news to all who watch. Thank you. Okay, come on out. Jeez, Mr. Nakamazi, you've got the corner on this, doesn't he? <laughs> Congratulations. Okay. Thank you. I gotta get that in. Let me stand behind this cute girl. Oh, there we go. You should move this way a little bit. This way. Got Commissioner Right here, let me smile. Three. Here, smile. One more. Thank you. Thank you. Whoa. Did you see me just bump into them? Now, if that were my father, he'd say it jumped out at him. <laughs> okay, we're at number two still, and this one is from Our Lady of Peace. It is Gianna Famil Familetti, and she wrote about our dear Miss Joyce Fazula. So, Gianna, come on up, kid. Joyce Fazula is the CEO and president of Garrity Supermarkets and is their spokesperson mom. Joyce was born in 1947 and graduated from Marywood University with a master's degree in counseling education. Her husband ran Garrity's while Joyce was employed as, as a teacher at North Pocono School District. Joyce helped run the company anytime she could. Even though Joyce's husband died in 1997, Joyce continued to be the president and CEO of Garrity Supermarkets with her son Joe by her side. Joyce has served Lackawanna County for nearly 50 years and is, in, in, and is an inspiration to many. Nice, very nice. Here, I didn't show you this. I said, Joyce, you got you pretty good on this one. <laughs> Just say so you now another little bit of trivia. I used to work for Joyce. 
<laughs> a long time ago when I was in 10th, 11th, and 12th grade at West Granton, Joyce's husband, Neil, and Mr. Garrity hired me a long time ago, and I had a blast. So we had a lot of fun. Weren't sales really up when I was there, Joyce? There we go. Garrity's hasn't been the same since. <laughs> so true. Every time I go in, I go, I used to, be, I used to do what you do. Okay, next up. We have first place winners, two of them. We have first uh, Samantha Fischello, who wrote about Marion Munley. So F Amanda is, uh, Samantha, excuse me, is with West Granton Intermediate School, again with our friend Mr. Yakavazi. And uh, Samantha's going to read to you a little bit about what she wrote about your mom and your grandma, and then we'll have you all come up. So, Samantha, come on up, kiddo. Munley, 1905 to 1983, became the first woman from Lackawanna County to serve in the Pennsylvania State House of Representatives after her husband, Democratic Representative Robert W. Munley, passed in January of 1947. Munley was then re-elected for a following eight more terms before she retired in 1963. Other than becoming the first woman to serve in the State House, Munley was also the first female elected officer in the PA State House. One of Munley's most significant accomplishments while in office was sponsoring House Bill Number 66. The bill passed on December 17, 1983, which prevented pay difference based on gender. Nice. Very nice. But not least, we have Miss Grace Kowalski, who was with Our Lady of Peace School in Clark Summit. She wrote about our dear friend, Miss Joanne, who was also a board member. And uh, we'd like to have Grace come on up and read about Miss Joanne. Joanne is the artistic director and owner of the Ballet Theater of Scranton. She has been teaching dance in Scranton for more than 30 years. She has been an instructor at Marywood University and the University of Scranton. She pioneered the, pioneered the course Dance and Movement, Movement in Early Childhood Education. She has conducted numerous educational programs and residencies in dance. Every year, she takes her time and effort to put on the Nutcracker. The Nutcracker is also free to the community. She starts practicing for the Nutcracker in mid-October. Joanne continues to inspire young individuals interested in dance. Look, smile. A couple more. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. How about this 
is the shares. Okay. Did you see oh, this was up here? Good job, because I'm down here. Here's our picture of Miss Joanne. Nice. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have the bookmarks up here. Please take them um, to anybody who wants them. They're all there. Uh, so we'd like to thank you for that. And we are going to, am I missing anything else, guys? Anything else we need to say? We're going to do a quick shot with all of the children, with the commissioners up at their, up on the, uh, uh, but before, I want the commissioners to speak, if they could, t a little bit about the significance of this uh, program and why it's so important for us to continue doing it. Commissioners? Commissioner Tierney? Uh, this is a very important program. It's something uh, I've been around for since the late 80s when it was first incepted, uh, the Women's Commission by Commissioners Corker and Alberigi. My wife was the uh, director of it at the time many, many years ago. Uh, they do a great job. Uh, it's great that they get the teachers and the students involved. The students did a fantastic job. Uh, and the people that they honor every year seems to get better and better. It's a really great thing. And I'm just glad everyone's here, and thank you very much. Commissioner O'Malley? I'd like to thank the, thank the Women's Commission for a great job. This is always a, it's always great to be here and the opportunity to be here to um, honor our students. Um, I'd like to also welcome you to 123 Wyoming Avenue, Lackawanna County Government Center at the Globe. If we were in our old conference room, let's just say we would be squeezed in like <laughs> sardines. This is the government center for all the community. 13 locations brought down to five. I'd like to just thank the parents that are here today and the teachers. You know, Mr. Yakavazi, I think that he's got like, he's got stocks in this, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know Pete since we're in high school, but... um. Um, the women that we're talking about here, Diane Boone, Joyce Fasula, like, give me this, this is great. That's a great picture. Uh -huh. And basically about Garrity's and, and geez, and Joanne, actually, she's got her bookmarker too. Congratulations. <laughs> what, you know what I mean? Um, Stacy Lang, Marion Munley, you know what I mean? You mean oh, pioneer. How do you define pioneer? This is the pioneer for women in Lackawanna County in the fifties. There was no women that were elected. No. Think about this. And then she did, was it four terms complete? Four? Eight terms? Eight terms. That's a lot of terms. 16 years. You know, that's, that's huge. And I always think about it when I'm actually, when I get off the Casey, I always think about your grandmother and your mother when I look at her sign. But, um, I mean, this is what it's about. It's about understanding that these seventh grade students can, you know, there's no boundaries. You know, you can make your dreams reality through hard work. And that's what all of these markers are about. Is hard work, determination, and having great parents that really care about who you are and making sure that, you know, that you're in school on time and that you have a good home life and making sure you know, your teachers, like if it weren't for the teachers, we wouldn't be here today because <coughs> as much as the Women's Commission brings it to them, the they teachers it. bring it forward mm -hmm. and tell the students about what a great opportunity this is that you have an opportunity and being part of history in Lackawanna County. And these bookmarkers are about history and historical people and our citizenship of Lackawanna County. So I just like to thank all of you today for being here. And to the students, you're the best. Great job. And if we, if we could have the three teachers, Mrs. Herbert, Mrs. Smith, and Mr. Akavazi stand, and we'll give them a nice round of applause, please. Okay, so the and again, I, it's just so important to 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 honor women and what they've done, and so many years and years before all of us. I mean, you look around. Joanne is running a how, how you this studio became yours after Mrs. Reynolds. How many years in existence? 60, 60 years. Well, that last year was the celebration, right? So Joanne is running that a strong, powerful woman who helps helps these kids with dance and does everything she can. Helps the community. Does what she has to do, all the time. You call Joanne, she'll help you with anything and run her business at the same time. Then we have Joyce Fazula who took over her business, even though, you know, Joyce, I'll tell you, Joyce kind of was running the show anyway behind the scenes. But um, <laughs> so that's why she was quite capable when when the unfortunate death of Neil um, happened and Joyce had two young sons and she took over. And how many stores do you have now, Joyce? Nine, Nine stores. And you're in Luzerne and Lackawanna, right? That's fabulous. 
again with the woman, although Neil had the idea, he wanted to keep going and Joyce is making sure that happens. And to have her two sons, the one Joe who helps her, Neil is where? California, so he's a little bit uh, long distance, but just to see that and to, to make, the, to continue to, to be a woman and to take on that responsibility. And then we have the Munleys, and we have Mrs. Munley's son, who is a federal judge. Judge, you want to wave up there for everybody? <laughs> judge Jim Munley, and then we have the third elected female judge, Julia Munley of Lackawanna County, which is huge, and all started from a grandma who took over from her husband, am I correct, you guys, and did what she had to do and then raised such a wonderful group of people and uh, the Munley Law Firm and just everything where you guys are is terrific. Such And judge, you know you're my favorite. I love you to pieces. And then we have Stacy Lang, who time after time after time comes out and has a smiley face and makes you feel connected to her when she's reporting good news or bad news, and she's always on the run. WNEP is huge, and they're all over, and Stacy is one of the kindest kindest ladies and she knows what she's doing and then we have Beatrix Sherman who was a silhouette artist long before I'm sure silhouettes were even thought of maybe they weren't I don't know the whole history of Beatrix but I love that Emmy was able to bring her to life to us and to see how neat that was Emmy what was that finish where are you Emmy what was that finish you used on the um, to make it look like the silhouette okay yeah, it's beautiful. So, st and then we have uh, Diane Boone, and unfortunately Diane wasn't here, but what she has done in our community and, and, and so helped, and, and many people I spoke to, I talked to Kathy Hardaway about Diane, because I didn't know her personally, and I wanted to know a little bit more about her, and she had said what she has done with the um, Martin Luther King Association and the work she has done in our community is tremendous. So these are people, these are women, who these young women, and last year, and in, in, in truth be told, we do have uh, young boys who occasionally win. Um, we don't look at who they are, we look at the story and what the photograph looks like, and then we look at who the student is. So um, it's, it, like I said, there were almost 80 submissions this year. It was terrific. We so appreciate your time and talent. Moms and dads, as Commissioner O'Malley said, it's all about what you learn at home, and these kids are a living example of what you're showing them and teaching them, and we thank you, and just the commitment to do it. The teachers, we could not do it without you. So hopefully next year, you'll um, help us out again. We don't have to worry about Pete because we know he'll do it anyway. But um, <laughs> OLP, come in strong because you did this year. So thank you so much for everyone, Lackawanna County itself. Rick Notary, who took over for our dear friend, our dear friend Fran. Da, da, da. Um, he's doing a great job. He helped me with everything. We got the bookmarks. Please take them. And again, we thank you for your time, your talent. And if all of the young ladies can meet us up behind, up on the commissioners uh, near the behind them, we'll get a good a group photo. Okay. And thank you. Thank you so much, everybody, and enjoy the day. Thank you. Yeah, the teacher should be up here, right? No. Come on, Pete. Congratulations. I know you see my feet. I do. This is perfect. You can stay right there, Mr. Teriani. And then where's Pete? How nice. I said three. Pete. They won't let you get away. They don't let you get away. They don't let you get away. There you go. There you go. Come on. Come on. Ladies, excuse me. Can I have you just most Commissioner, put your jacket down in the back.